Hey YouTube, how's it going? I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own virtual console games. So, uh, you're going to have to download the things I put in the description here. And, uh, and you're going to need uh, a ROM and a WAD. And they both have to be for the same console. So say you have a Super Nintendo ROM, you need a Super Nintendo uh, WAD. So once you have all of these downloaded, you're going to go into the inject folder you're going to drag your wad and your rom into this folder and you're going to run the inject wad injector v3 application so once you open that up you're going to go to console mode and choose whatever rom you downloaded so i'm doing a earthbound that was for super nintendo so you're going to go i'll go to super nintendo I'm going to click on Earthbound, and you're going to click on the WAD that you're going to put the ROM into. So, you're going to give it a name. So, I'm going to name it Earthbound. And you're going to click on Start. And now it will run all this stuff, and there it is. So, you can actually just install that onto your Wii, and you'll have your ROM. But if you want to like change the picture and actually make it look like it's a real virtual console game, you're going to have to do a bit more. So, next thing you're going to go into is Customize Me. And you're going to run that. And you're going to click on Browse. And you're going to find this, which is the WAD you just made. So you're going to open it up and you're going to go to title you're going to make sure that it says earthbound or whatever uh, ROM you it's going to be and you're going to go to options and change the ID to something so I'll just go EAR earth or like just whatever you want it to be make sure you change that though because you don't want it to overwrite any other uh, channels you have on your Wii then you're going to go to banner and right here where it says VC pic, that's going to be the picture that will show when you click on it. And you're going to want to get a different one than that. So you're going to go to Google. And I'm going to type in earthbound images. And I'm just going to find a picture that I like. So let's see here. Uh, this one's pretty good. So you're going to save that and here it is here so you're going to click on it click replace and click on the image and don't worry it will automatically resize it so it will fit properly so now you can preview it and that's what it will show and then you're going to go to icon and you're going to click on the icon VC pick and this is what it will show before you click on it like on the Wii menu. So you're going to want to replace that. So you're going to click it, replace, and you can get a different image if you want. I'm just going to use the same one. So there you go. Now you just preview, and that's what it will be like. Next, you're going to go to Layout. Now this is what will show when you click on it at the top. It will say like Super Nintendo, how many players, what year, and all of that stuff. So you're going to want to change that. So you're going to click on Banner, and you're going to extract it and put it to your desktop. And now here it is. Now you're not going to close this. You're going to minimize it. You're going to open up the BRLYT tool. You're going to run this. If it won't work, try running as an administrator. I know I have to do that. So you're going to click on File down here. Click on this little button, and you're going to find the file you just extracted. Open. And now it has all of this information here. Um, so you're going to want to change it to whatever you want it to say. So obviously mine's going to be Earthbound. Uh, Super Nintendo, that's right, it was 1995. Okay, there's only one player on this game. Um, <clears throat> you can also change the color and all that if you want. I'm not really too worried because it's it's fine. Um, 
So once you do all that, you're going to click set on all the things you've changed. So you can just click it on and all if you want, set. And yeah, so then you're going to click save changes. So now it was changed. So you can close that out. Go back to your customize me. And you're going to click on the banner. And you're going to click replace. And you're going to replace it with the file you just made. And after that, that is everything you need to do. So you're going to click Create WAD, click Yes, and just uh, rename it as the ROM or whatever, the file, you, just name it whatever, and click Save. And it'll say Successful. You can close everything out now. And so you're going to want to put this onto your... Uh, SD card or USB or whatever you like to put your wads on and uh, I'll show you what to do on the on the Wii okay so now that you have your wad on your car the SD card or your USB you're gonna want to install it so go to your wad manager or whatever you use So there it is, so just click on your wad, install it. So there we go, it's finished. And I'm just gonna you're just gonna go to your home screen now. So it has your picture that you added and the year, everything you've changed, and yeah.